Hydroponic Aquaculture, How One System Works. Part 2. Listening. Page 36. A. Initial Listening. Now let's listen to a talk about a hydroponic experiment to raise fish and lettuce plants. It may help you to concentrate on the talk if you close your eyes while you listen. Just relax and listen carefully. The growing of plants without soil has developed from experiments carried out to determine what substances, like soil and water, make plants grow, growing plants in water rather than in soil. In other words, hydroponics dates back many more years than you might think. Scientists believe that hydroponics or aquaculture is at least as ancient as the pyramids of Egypt. Scientists also know that a primitive form of aquaculture has been used in the region of Kashmir for centuries. In fact, scientists believe hydroponic growing actually preceded soil growing. They even believe that using hydroponics as a farming tool started in the ancient city of Babylon with its famous hanging gardens. These hanging gardens were probably one of the first successful attempts to grow plants hydroponically. However, returning to more modern times, researchers at the University of the Virgin Islands have developed a system of hydroponic aquaculture that is both simple and low cost. The system uses gravity to create recirculating water systems in which fish are raised and vegetables are grown. Let me take a minute to explain the process of how this particular system of hydroponic aquaculture works on the island of St. Croix in the Virgin Islands. To start with, rainwater is collected in a large 3,000 gallon tank. This tank is located on the highest point of the island. The tank is so large that it measures about 12 feet in diameter. Once the tank is filled with rainwater, fish are added to the tank and subsequently raised in the large tank. So first, the researchers collect rainwater in a large tank, then they add fish. The fish swim around and excrete waste into the water. The next step in the process happens in this way. The rainwater collected in the large tank slowly runs out of the bottom of the large fish tank and into another tank. This other tank holds the waste from the fish. The water is then filtered. After the water is filtered, it is passed through a biofilter that contains bacteria. Now these bacteria convert any harmful ammonia produced in the fish waste into nitrates. These nitrates are then used to feed the plants in the next stage of the process. So what happens next? Well, after the water has passed through this biofilter, it enters two 100 foot long hydroponic tanks. Just above the 100 foot long tanks of water, plants are suspended on trays. In this particular case, the plants suspended on trays are lettuce plants. The plant's roots stand in the water. Now, through the roots, the plants soak up or absorb the nitrates and other nutrients in the water before the water drains out of these 100-foot-long tanks into a large reservoir. The reservoir is located at the lowest point on the island. It's now necessary, of course, to get the water from the lowest part of the island back to the highest point on the island so the water can circulate through the process again. Now, how do they get the water from the reservoir up to the highest point on the island? Well, a pump is used to cycle the water back to the 3,000 gallon fish tank and then the hydroponic process starts all over again. The aquaculture scientists say that this relatively simple system produces about 25,000 heads of lettuce and one ton of fish in a year from just one 3,000 gallon fish tank. A commercial company would need to have several tanks in order to make the process profitable. But researchers at the University of the Virgin Islands have demonstrated exactly how aquaculture can be used to grow plants without using soil. The process could help some countries that are looking to develop new methods to produce food in soilless culture. Just to give an example, in the case of tomatoes, dirt farmers raise about 3,500 plants per acre. In hydroponics, the tomato plants can be placed much closer together, and it's possible to cultivate as many as 10,000 plants on an acre of land. In the future, we will probably see more and more agriculture being done as hydroponic aquaculture, and many consumers won't know the difference.